Hello, hello, friends. It's me, Beth Golden. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you are doing this on playback, welcome. You are so lucky because if I get slow, you can fast forward to the good parts. Um, and if you are joining me live or you're hopping on, I'm so glad that you're here. I just have two things to say before I start. First of all, all the supplies that I'm listing down below are, um, I, well, all the supplies that I'm using are listed down below. Hello! Hello! Calico Collage is here! Yay! So, the supplies are listed down below. I would appreciate it if you're interested in anything, if you would shop those, because that does help keep my channel funded and I can bring more great content and the other thing is if you can't catch a live that's cool you can just jump it back that's what I love about live is it doesn't go away it's here forever so anyway let's get started we're going to be making a cute little trifold card today this is my trifold that I created it's a little pet sympathy card um, and if you don't have, you know, you're like, oh, I don't have that set or whatever, that's okay. You can do this with anything. Like, this is just what I'm using to demonstrate this technique, okay? So it's so cute. It's no matter how long we get to love them, it's never long enough, and it's a cute little dog until we meet at the Rainbow Bridge. So I'm going to create this card, only this time I'm going to do it with a kitty. So let me show you what set I'm using. It's out of close to my heart. And it is this set right here. It is the, um, let's see, I think it's the Rainbow Bridge set. And I got it with a die cut because I'm lazy <laughs> and I wanted to die cut it. So I've already done the majority of the prep work and we're just going to walk through on how to do this. But I do have a Close to My Heart website. It is listed down below. First thing in the supply list where you can find this. But I'm using a whole bunch of different stuff. I mean, every product line has great stuff out there. And, and you know, I, I'm not real loyal to just one, so to speak, okay? Now, to create this card, you are going to take a regular card stock, 8.5 by 11, your business style card stock. You're going to slice it into two. I don't know if you guys know this, but if you ever need to make a white card base, or any kind of card base, if you have an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper and you cut it down the middle like so, it'll give you the perfect A2 size, 4.5 by 5.5 after you fold it. So you're going to take your piece of paper, you're going to slice it down the, the, the middle, and then what you're going to do is you are going to score each side and you are going to run it or cut it through your die press machine, okay, not your die press machine, was it a Sizzix, a cuddle bug, I think I use a Sizzix on this. I use these clouds right here to make my cut, and so I placed one on this side, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer them. So I'm going to glue one side to the other like so, and you're going to see me do it. So to do so, I cut one like this and one like this. And so it folds in like that. So all you have to do from here is you're just going to take your scissors and you're going to cut off the excess. And I am not discarding my excess because I can use this later with some ink on a flat base card and my blending and create some cards, uh, some uh, clouds on a card front. So don't ever disregard these because you can totally use that. You could even use this on blue card stock with some white ink to give yourself some beautiful clouds. Alright, and then from here I'm going to take this one and just cut this down as well. And now I have my gorgeous little clouds. So, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and stamp my cloud outline. And I'm going to be using this stamp for that. And if you are working with your clean foam stamps, you are going to want to stamp on a foam sheet. A, a, a kid's foam sheet works great. You can get those for... Uh, 25 cents, you know, at the craft store, 
But if you get a close to my heart, or if you have close to my heart, and you're like, what the heck is this for? This is what they gave you to stamp on. And it will create that perfect cushion. So that's what these are for in your, um, in, in your stamp sets. I don't know if you guys know that or not, but that's pretty cool, right? Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and ink this up. And since I'm going to be doing a little girl kitty today, we did the dog, I already did the dog, now I want a little girl. I'm going to be doing this in a pink. And I'm doing, I'm doing a pink one because I did a blue one last time. So, I have my Distress Oxide out. I pulled out Sun Sugar, Seedless Preserve, and also Worn Lipstick. Um, I'm going to be doing Seedless Preserve for this one. And what's beautiful about these Distress Oxides is they actually, um, if you want to emboss them, they emboss beautifully and they set up really nice. So, before I put this whole thing together, I'm actually going to make sure that, ooh, look what I did right there. I'm talking too much and I slipped. I'm going to make sure that I have um, run a heat gun on it just to make sure that it's all nice and set up. And I'm trying to remember how this is going to go. All right, there we go. Trying to line it up the best I can. I don't think I got that real straight. There we go. The joys of live, right? <laughs> Y'all are watching me to one and they're like, ooh, when is she going to screw up? And see, and I did it again. I didn't get it. Okay. Now let's try. Alright. So I'm just going to run this one on the top like so. And then I'm going to do the same thing over on this one. And I like to cut it first, you know, definitely submit through the die cut machine first, and then go ahead and um, stamp it, just because it's, I don't know, it, it just, to me, it just is easier. I could be, you know, it's your, really your preference on it. Okay. So now we have our little cute cloud, and what I want to do is I want to add some, a little bit of color to the bottom of each of these. So I'm going to be using worn lip, uh, actually spun sugar on the bottom. So I'm just going to take my blending tool, and I'm going to blend it through like you normally would blend through your, um, Distress ink, but I'm just going to do this with the oxide. So I'm just going to add just a little bit of color from bringing it up, and really, it's a really pretty, pretty light pink, and I really like that for this. And I'm not going to go all the way up through the, the cloud, I'm just going to give it just a little bit of color and kind of you know, stop up there, because I want that to be white. Alright, so there's this. It is a very pretty pink, right? I love it. Okay, and then we're going to do this one. And this is my, my front sheet. And then from here, we're going to add in our sentiment, and I think I'm going to do the sentiment in lipstick. Alright, so I'm just going to, now this is my stamp cleaner by Lawn Fawn. Um, I really like it. It's dirty, but it works really well. I don't have to use any chemicals. It gets it nice and clean, so I just keep that off to the side. And... I use it as I go, so I don't have to, like, stop and, you know, clean my stamps. Okay, so, for this one, for this stamp set, I wanted to say, no matter this one, no matter how long you get to love them, it's never long enough. And I'm going to be putting my kitty kind of in the center, so 
I definitely want to make sure that this is more towards the bottom. I'm going to use worn lipstick on this. It's a little bit darker. Hopefully, you know, I have enough ink on this because... <laughs> oh, I do. Okay, it's been a while. No matter how long... No matter how long we get to love them, it's never long enough down there. And then for the next one, it's going to be until we meet again. And I'm going to be pulling in, I took and I stamped this stamp. And I ran it through my die cut machine, and then I just stamped on it. And so this is going to be going on, on this one just to give it a little bit something extra. So when I put the card together, uh, I will make sure I include that. But as I'm stamping my sentiment, I need to keep that in mind. Okay, so this one is Until We Meet Again. This is my second one. higher on this, but not much. I still want it to be kind of in the center. And then for the inside, I have something special I'm going to do on the inside because I discovered that as I was creating that, um, my example, when I put it together, like this, you could kind of see some of the unevenness. So I actually... I'm going to throw this on and mat it. This is a background I created on, on um, YouTube a while back. And then I'm going to put this over like so. And I just think it makes it look really cute. And I'll clean up the edges, of course. But my sentiment needs to go on this one. And I just colored this in with some Copic markers. My rainbow and my rainbow stamp. I just used this rainbow stamp and my little cute... Art. So, like I said, the technique is universal. You can use this with any stamp set, anything, but I just thought this was real great. I know I have three friends who have had to put down, and I recently had to put my my 14-year-old down, my 14-year-old um, Golden Retriever, and it was so hard, and I think that when I bought this stamp set, I was thinking of him. So, um, you know, it's never easy. And so I just thought, you know, I really need to have some pet sympathy cards on hand. And I really like that we can do little kitties with this, too, because I've got some cat lovers out there. Okay, so this is where this one's going to go. And now we're going to go ahead and just start to assemble this card. So the first thing I want to do is I definitely want to... Where is my face? It's not so easy. Oh, I know. It is so hard, huh, Marilla? All right, so from here... I just want to trim this down a little bit because it'll fold nicer if you trim the edge off. And like I said, I don't care if it's straight or not because I'm going to be putting the mat on over it. Alright, I'm going to take this one just trim it down. If you have a paper cutter, you can do that too. All right, I'm going to just use some of my art glitter glue. I, I would really just use um, my tape on it on this, but my tape on it is so big that I don't. Hi, Darlene. It is difficult, isn't it, Belinda? They are unconditional love, and you know that you're going to outlive them, which is really hard. You know, that's the thing. It's so hard is you know that you're going to outlive them. And so you truly are, are getting that animal knowing you're going to have to say goodbye. So... It's just, that was the hardest thing I've ever had to do, I think, is put my, my, my dog down. I mean, recently. I've had to bury people and whatnot, but, you know, I, I just, it's so hard. I'm tearing up right now thinking about it, so. All right, so we have this down, and you know how sloppy it looks right now, right? It doesn't look very pretty, so, because of the edge. So we're just going to cover it all up with this, and I'm seeing where it's going to go over, so I'm just going to go ahead and just trim that off. It doesn't matter that it's ugly because, like I said, 
we're just going to cover it up like so. And the top too a little bit. Icky. So for the top though, I'm going to want to pull out my trimmer and just get this evened up. I have been thinking about this card, I'm not even kidding you, for probably um, a month. I've been just trying to come up with something for a live video, and I really wanted to use this card set, this stamp set, and this is, I just love it, and so it's so perfect, I think. Alright, and then I'm just going to put this down. And again, I would use my tape gun on this, but it's so big and bulky, I just don't like how it looks on screen all the time. So I'm going with my glue. And this is fantastic. I can't find it online, though. I had to find mine in my craft store. But I think it was... Who was it that was watching? And who sh she showed... It was a... Uh, I can't remember if it was Kathy or... I had someone who told me where to get it. So if you're watching this again, please post and share, because I don't remember. <laughs> all right. So I just want to make sure that this all can fold down and looks real cute. So far, so good. We're going to go ahead and add this into the back, like so. And you guys, I'm going to be coming on live as long as my YouTube is working with me um, on Thursdays at 7 o'clock my time, which usually is, I think that's Mountain Standard Time. I'm in Arizona. Um, and so that's what my plan is. I got a new phone recently. And um, because my old phone was just, it wasn't working. And, and so I went into Verizon and they're like, oh yeah, you should get this one. And my husband had that one. And so long story short, uh, he got a new phone and I got his old one. And it seems to be working. And I got the internet fixed. So let's just hope. Okay, so on this, I want to add a little bit of glimmer. So uh, Close to My Heart has these pins that add just a little bit of sparkle and shine. And they have a nice paintbrush end on them that I really love. So what I do is I'm just going through the light colors. And I'm just coloring over just to kind of make it seem more heavenly, so to speak. <laughs> and they don't have it for every color. I don't, it's only like a red or pink and, and some purple. Um, and gold and a clear. So I'm just going to do the colors on the rainbow spectrum that we have. There's a blue one. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that sparkle or not, but it's very, very, very apparent in real life. And, but I'll hold it up to the camera and show you guys. And then I have this clear that I will use. And if, and if I need more to come out, I just press the sides and it releases some more of this beautiful liquid shimmer. I really like these pens. Thank you. Thank you, Zay. All right. So, this is... See that shimmer? Isn't that cool? It's so wonderful. I love it. All right. So, from here, we need to go ahead and just kind of assemble the rest of our cards. And I want to play my, first of all, I just want to hit this with the heat gun because that Distress Oxide will move until you heat set it. Now, the reason why I didn't go with Distress Ink is because Distress Ink, you can hit it with the heat gun and it will still move after it gets wet. And I just don't want it to move after this. I want this to be done. I don't want any drops in it. And it helps if my heat gun is plugged in. You see that you're all ready for these. I look so hard getting my materials done. I wouldn't waste your time and never fail. All right. That's fairly well set up. And then I want to make sure that I put this little um, cloud down. 
on this page and it just gives it some extra just a little bit something extra a little bit extra dimension so I'm going to figure out how I want to do that I could do it off to this side all right and then for my kitty I'm going to use pop dots but I have a trick for you I don't know if you guys ever get your um your 3D dimensional foam stickies, but don't ever throw this away. Always keep it because you can cut it out and use these. They work the same. Nobody's going to see the back. So if you ever buy them on sale at Hobby Lobby or Joanne's and you have this left over, keep it and use it because it totally will work for you. Okay, I'm going to put my little cloud there and then my kitty I'm going to put her halo on and I colored her in in Copic marker and then what I did was I just dabbed my colorless blender which is really an eraser you don't blend with the colorless blender and I dabbed it to kind of make it resemble her and then I'm just going to take her little halo and put that on top of her sweet little head And then I'm going to cut down my pop dots. And it got sucked up, and that's the beauty of this glue. It dries so fast. And then I'm just going to, like I said, I'm just going to use my, my, my trash <laughs> to pop that, or, pop that it on. And it works really nicely. I love trash. Something else you can do if you don't have pop dots is you can just take some foam and just use a really good liquid adhesive and put it on the back of your whatever you want to add, um, add dimension to and that will work fine. Nobody will know. Nobody sees the back of your little, your little guy. Alright. And really, I shouldn't have added this to the top because my little hat head sits over like that. And that is it. That is this card. So, one sheet of paper. Hello, Sue. Hello. So glad that you're popping on. So that's how you can do a trifold card. Now, if you're going, well, I don't have clouds, or I don't have that stamp set, that's cool. If you have a cityscape, you could do this. Even if you took and just used a ruler. Aw, oh, thank you, Norella. If you just took a ruler and cut it down, and you could have, a, like, a three- Part trifle card that you know does this. It, it, what, what am I? What's the word I'm looking for? I you know use special language. I like special word. So anyway, this is my doggy one, and then this is my little kitty one. And I'll show you some of the other little ones that I colored in. I also have prepared these, and on the colors again, I use that shimmer. So if you have any shimmer, even if it's stickle, that's kind of uh, it's fun to add just to give it a little bit more um, personality. And I did that too with my little kitty. Alright? So, that is how to do the trifle card. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, thank you. So, oh, this stamp set it is by Close to My Heart and it is called Rainbow Bridge. I have that link provided in the description box. It is to my website, which goes to my heart. You can go right on over there and click through the Rainbow Bridge. And you can buy the stamp set alone, or you can also get the dies. Um, so, you know, lots of options with it. But this is such a cute one. There's some other companies that make some really cute pet ones, too. And I, can to I totally love that we can do some sympathy cards now. It's, it really is a nice set. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I had to have it. I bought it, and I had to have it. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please make sure you leave them for me. Any comments, I would love them. Um, make sure that you have subscribed. If you enjoyed this, just consider subscribing. You know, all the usual, give a thumbs up, yada, yada, yada. And then make sure you check out my supply list if you're interested in anything I use. The only thing I don't have listed there is this because I don't know where to find it. So if you know where to find it, can you please list it in the comments down below so that all of our friends can go and find it? 
All right. I hope you have a wonderful Thursday night. Thank you again for joining me. This was so much fun. Join me again next Thursday, same time, same place. Until next time, happy crafting.